Hi, and welcome to Storytime with Party. I have a number of books for us to read together today. I have a little activity on our board, on my board behind me. So let's get started. Our first story today is going to be called God Made Me by Helen Hadel. This book was donated in Loving Memory of Emily Gretchen Motor by Tom and Sue Lubach. Let's see what God made. Thank you, God, for my two eyes. I see birds fly in the sky. Watch my kite sail way up high while the puffy clouds float by. Having a good time outside, isn't he? When it's dark, I squint my eyes, counting stars and fireflies. Thank you, God, for my two ears. Soft and noisy sounds I hear. Booming drums so loud and clear. Horns and whistles far and near. There's the whole band marching by. But also, listen closely. Can you hear? Mommy whispering in my ear. Thank you, God, for my two hands. I like digging in the sand. Building castles on the land, when the waves come, will they stand? Poking, patting with my hands, making sandy wonderlands. Thank you, God, for feet to run, chasing after everyone. Dancing barefoot in the sun, tapping to the fiddle drum. Jumping, climbing, oh, what fun! Running till the day is done. Thank you, God, for toes that tap to the music. Tap, tap, tap. Thanks for fingers I can snack. Making rhythm. Snap, snap, snap. Thank you, God, for hands that clap. When I'm happy, clap, clap, clap. Thank you, God, for legs so strong. They are growing tall and long. Thank you, God, for arms you gave, arms that carry, reach, and wave. Thank you, God, for lots of hair, straight or curly, dark or fair. It is fun to use my nose. Smell baked bread, come, smell the rose. Thank you, God, for teeth that chew, apples, corn, and carrots, too. My mouth opens big and wide so my lunch can fit inside. I am thankful for my tongue. Tasting food is lots of fun. Ooh, an ice cream cone. That is good. And a pickle. Salt and pepper, candy sweets, sour pickles, ice cream treats. Looks like they're at a fair or something. Grandma's apple pie tastes good. Thank you, God, for tasty food. Isn't that the truth? We all enjoy a good meal, don't we? What's your favorite food? I think I like, I like pizza. I like sweets. What about you? Candy? Chocolate? All good stuff to eat, isn't it? Yeah. Let's do what's on our little board here today, okay? We are going to talk about shapes. And we're going to put the shapes on this board by this old clown, an old circus clown. Let's talk about this shape first. Do you know what shape this is? A circle? Yes, it is a circle. So let's find the circle. There it is. That's where the circle goes. What's this shape? A triangle? Yeah. Let's put the triangle like uh, ah, here it is. Here's where the triangle goes. There we go. Here. Shape of a heart. I love you. Where does the heart go? Right down here. Yep. 
here's an interesting shape. It's like an egg. Do you know what that's called? It's called an oval. Yes, an oval. Let's find out where the oval goes. Does the oval go here? No. Does the oval go here? No. It goes here. Yeah, that's where our oval goes. Do we know what this shape is? A star. Yes. Let's put the star right over here on this yellow star. Whoops. Let's get the star up there. There we go. What's this? It's a square. A green square, no less. So let's put the green square where it goes. It goes right here. And what does that look like? The moon? It does look like the moon. It's a crescent. It's called a crescent shape. So let's get that one up where it belongs. There, you did very good on all them shapes. Good job. Those are all things that we have to learn. Shapes of all sorts of things. Let's read our next story called from Head to Toe, from Eric Carle. Head to Toe, look at that little boy. I am a penguin and I turn my head. Can you do it? I can do it. Oh sure, we can turn our heads. I am a giraffe and I bend my neck. Can you do it? And the boy says, I can do it. Can you bend your neck? I am a buffalo, and I raise my shoulders. Can you do that? I can do that, says the little girl. She raises her shoulders. I am a monkey, and I wave my arms. Can you do that? I can do that, says the boy. Can you wave your arms? Whoa, hi. I am a seal, and I clap my hands. Can you do it? I can do it. You can clap your hands. Yeah. I am a gorilla and I thump my chest. Can you do that? I can do that, says the boy. And he thumps his chest. I am a cat and I arch my back. Can you do it? I can do it, says the girl as she bends over and arches her back. I am a crocodile and I wiggle my hips. Can you do it? I can do it, says the little boy as he wiggles his hips. I am a camel and I bend my knees. Can you do that? I can, says the little girl and she bends her knees too. I am a donkey and I kick my legs. Can you do it? I can do it, says the little boy as he kicks his knees. I am an elephant and I stomp my foot. Can you do it? I can do it, says the girl as she stomps her feet. I am I and I wiggle my toes. Can you do it? I can do it, says the bird. And the bird wiggles his little clawed feet. We can do so many things with the body that God made us, can't we? We certainly can. Our last story of the day is called, God Loves Your Nose. Written by Mark Bernthal. Well, let's see what we can say here. Hi, everybody. My name is Boaz the Bear. I'm very glad to be with you because you're friends who care. God has made us special to look the way we do. No one in the whole wild world looks the way you do. Our eyes have pretty colors, brown, green, or maybe blue. Do your eyes pop wide open when bees say hi to you? He's not afraid of that bee, is he? No one's nose is just like yours. That's how it's meant to be. Just smell these yummy cookies I baked for you and me. Whoa, nothing like a good chocolate chip cookie. 
Stomachs are many sizes. My tummy's big and round. Every time I'm hungry, it makes a gurgly sound. Our feet can skip and run, and when I get the chance, my bare toes twirl and spin because I like to dance. It's true, we are all special, and as your body grows, just know that God who made you loves you. Nose to toes. Oh, I like that story. That's a good one. All right, let's finish up with our goodbye song today. If we all said a prayer for each other every day, what a wonderful world this would be. I would ask God to bless you and keep you every day, knowing you'd say the same prayer for me. Bye, everyone. Have a good week.